You know, habits can actually be a little tricky. And so maybe we should talk about what happens when you fall out of your good habits or some of the things that might get in the way of you starting really good habits. Hey, yo, and what's up, tribe? Today, what I want to talk to you about is habits, specifically being reasonable with your expectations with the habits. So I want to talk about me for a second here and a problem I had. For the past three years since COVID started, I've had a number of things that have happened personally and professionally that have basically taken me out of good habits. You know, I used to be super athletic, uh, spending a lot of time working out. I used to get a lot more done than I had been. I had a number of things happen from COVID to family stuff that I had to address that actually took me out of good habits. So let's talk about why that happened and let's talk about the subsequent issues that come along with it. So the first thing that happened was that a lot of my mental bandwidth was taken away. There's this idea of ego depletion theory, which talks about how much mental energy we have to spend on things. This is why people will sometimes wear the same shirt or the same outfit every day, so they don't have to make as many decisions. And because they're not making those decisions, they actually have more time in their head or space in their head to be able to think about other things that matter more importantly than what type of t-shirt you're going to wear. The second piece of this is understanding how that affects us on a day-to-day -day basis. COVID took my mind and I, of course, had to focus professionally on other things uh, and that started to create situations where I wasn't working out as much. Second to that were the family issues, which it didn't necessarily take me out of my time, but it take, took me out of my headspace. And that made it difficult for me to really have the will to push through and do things when I didn't want to do them, uh, whether that means eating healthy or getting out to the gym, which is literally just in my garage. So that can be an issue, right? So what that meant is that I have gradually fell out of my good habits. And maybe you did have good habits at one point in time, or maybe you're trying to get somewhere. And one of the things that you have to realize is first, your memory of what you used to do may not be right, plus what you used to do may not be right for you in the here and now. So again, I'm gonna go back to me. I used to work out a lot. Well, I thought I was working about three hours a day. And it's possible if you allocate your time properly, but realistically, I wasn't. And that was the surprise. Not every single day, but like on average, if you took out the week and, and divided it. But I wasn't. And I had this idea. So what I was trying to do is step right back up to that three hour workout. And of course, adjusting that massive amount of uh inertia to go back to that wasn't possible. And when I actually went back to my training calendar, looked at Training Peaks and Strava, I found out no, the average was about two hours a day, which is actually pretty reasonable for an endurance athlete and something that you could get done when you have like a four hour bike ride on the weekend or something along those lines. So one of the things that is important to recognize is one, don't let what you thought you used to do become your existing goal. Really look at what you used to do and two, ease into your goals and ease into these new habits. One of the habits that I never got out of was waking up at five o'clock in the morning. And because of that, I could re-stack my habits like, um, like Clear says in Atomic Habits so that now I'm starting to get finally back on track with those particular habits. So all of this really talks to the fact that what you need to do is Think about what you're doing and don't make dramatic shifts right away. The other thing to keep in mind when you're thinking about your habits, especially if you made some New Year's resolutions, and here we are in the middle of February, is to think about what habits you want to enact now and maybe stack later. If you try and make some dramatic changes, that's a lot to put on yourself. So look at making small changes, uh, taking some steps back. Don't worry about days that you fail. What matters is, you know, if you took three days, you had good habits, two days you didn't, you're still one day ahead of the game. So think about all these, think about how you're doing your habits. Don't be afraid to restart those habits, but be reasonable with yourself and go easy. Baby steps, like the old Bill Murray movie had. All I have to do is take one little step at a time and I can do anything. Mm. Baby steps will get you there. So I hope this helps out. If you like my content, definitely subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell. And of course, I hope you're a little bit better today than you were yesterday. And I'm looking forward to you being just a little bit better tomorrow than you were today. Take care, tribe.